Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here, along with a few special guests. They are... Addison. Qualia. And Addison and Qualia are both in... Third grade. Mr. Mr. Sheldon's class. Mr. Sheldon's class. All right. They're going to lead us in the pledge, so please stand and prepare for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, very nicely done. Now, our estimator this week. This week we're estimating what? How many ties you and Mr. Baby Beatty had together. Yeah, the combined number of ties. You can see a picture of those ties right here. And so that should help you out a little bit with your estimate. And before I give the first clue, I'm wondering what you guys thought the first answer might be. 156. And Addie? 137. Okay, so there's their first clue. Thoughts? Now, it's time for a clue, and we'll see if that changes your prediction, okay? The first clue is that it is less than, less than, the number of days in four months. Hmm. Less than the number of days in four months. Do anybody have an idea of how many days are in most months? The, um, like 365. That's how many days are in the whole year, 365. But how many days would be in one month? Like this is the month of October. How many days are in October? 31 days. Ah, oh, there are 31. 31. Yes. 31 days in October. Most of our months either have 30 or 31 days. Most of them. There's one that doesn't. It has... February. Yeah, February has... Uh, 29. 28 days most of the time. And, and leap year 29. That's when my brother was born. Really? Mm -hmm. That's neat. So, this to say, just for, to make it easy, every day has, every month has 30 days, just to make it an e easy number. So, the number of ties we have total is less than the number of days in four months. Now, we're so happy to see you guys back at school. I know yesterday was our first back from an extended break, and I uh, hope that you enjoyed that break but are ready to really learn a lot between now and our winter break. So we have lots of things to learn, lots of things to do, and in order to learn a lot, we have to make sure we're doing the three things that we say every day in our announcements, making sure we're being... Safe, and respectful, and responsible. Yeah, so all three of those things. If you're being those things in your classroom, that's going to give you the best possible opportunity to learn as much as you can here at Southside. And, of course, that is our goal, is that we teach you as much as possible. You can learn as much over the course of a year, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. One upcoming event that's coming up pretty soon is next Friday, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after, is our very first Sunrise Readers in a long time. And what that is, is a chance for you and a parent or a grandparent to come in early on Friday at 7 a.m. and get breakfast and look at some books and to share some time together because we think here at Southside that reading is really important, right? Yes. yes. Reading is a main part of your life. Yeah. And you have to be able to read to do lots of things in life. So. We want to encourage you to read, and so that's the reason we're having the Sunrise Readers. Not this Friday, but next Friday. All right, as I said before, we love seeing you guys being safe, respectful, and responsible. And it's, it's always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. Thanks, guys.